Yo, it's another episode of On The Drive Home. Man, it's a lot going on, it's a lot going on. Where do I start? I could make a few different vlogs right now, but I'm gonna just condense it all in one. We'll come up with the title later. A lot going on in Battle Rap. Uh, we'll first start off with um, Kid Slade, Tay Rock, Battle, dropped on Christmas. Happy holidays, everybody. Hope you had a good time with the family and whatnot, whatever you celebrate. Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is. Uh, happy holidays, man. Hope you had a good one. I surely did. Um, a lot happened. They dropped all the battles from Civil War. I only watched one battle, which was Tay Rock vs. Kid Slade. Highly anticipated battle. We've been waiting for them to drop this battle. Um, and it looks like pretty much Kid Slade beat Tay Rock clear. Um, Kid Slade stumbled in the first round. Uh, he brought it back. Tay Rock had the, the uh, paperwork angle in the first round, but it was kind of a light round, so I don't know. That first round was debatable, especially because Rock's round was light, but Kid Slade stumbled. And usually, you know, choke lightweight. And usually when somebody chokes in a battle, they lose that round. So, you know, I could say the round went to uh, Kid or went to uh, Tay Rock. If I was going to give Tay Rock a round, I'd give him the first round. I also like Tay Rock's third round, but Tay Rock was like tired of almost fighting. He was gassed out. He was sweating. He was tired. He was worn out. And he was like, I don't even feel like rapping anymore. But he was rapping really well. Um, I really enjoyed his third round, but I didn't enjoy the energy. And the energy had already been gone from the battle because they were trying to fight every three minutes for three minutes. Um, but anyways, overall, I give Kid Slade the battle 2-1 on the app. They got Kid Slade 3-0 on Tay Rock. Now, if there wasn't no snitch situation and all that, and Kid Slade just 30s Tay Rock, that's huge for Kid Slade. That's huge for Kid Slade. Kid Slade coming in 30 and Tay Rock? Sheesh. Ow, ow. saying <laughs> oh no i mean i know a lot of niggas don't even want to battle kid slade anymore because you know he's alleged snitch now and all this but 3-0 oh, and tay rock you're now 10 and 0 oh on the app like niggas can't really say shit to you i mean they can try to get you out of here over the snitching shit but man that's looking tough um I really wish everything was still cool so we could see a Kid Slade versus Easy to Block Captain. That's a battle I would love to see. Kid Slade, Easy to Block Captain, whew. That's a good segue into the next part of this is Easy to Block Captain versus Hitman Holla announced on Chrome 23. Blah, 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 blah. Holy shit balls. That's gonna be crazy. Hitman Holla, Easy to Block Captain on Chrome 23. Shout out to Remy Ma. Very smart for her. Put on this battle. Yeah, this battle is going to put her in the negative. But this is a very good battle to have on her card. On her fucking channel. Because it was going to be forever before Easy to Block Captain would have battled Hitman Holla on URL. It would have been forever before Hitman Holla would have battled on URL, period. Just because there's been so much shady, shaky shit in the past. But, um... Man, I'm very much looking forward to see Hitman Hollow vs. Easy to Block Captain. Remy Ma is using her fucking noggin and understanding what the people want to see. Everybody doesn't want to see all these other fucking no-name people battling. Shouts out for her for trying to, you know, do it big for the ladies. But, uh, man, yes, Hitman Hollow vs. Easy to Block Captain. That is a smart move. Shout out to you, Remy Ma. Um, and I can't wait to see that shit. It's going down in February. So I'm going to be looking forward to that. Uh, what else is going on in Battle Rap? There was a... <laughs> there was a online battle with Reaper Rel versus... Uh, Harlem Legend TV. Harlem Legend gets on there, and I already vlogged about this. He fucking died, okay? He fucking died. He stumbled, he fumbled... All this shit. But that battle got so many hits in 
24 hours, it's breaking records for online battles. Like, who else had an online battle during COVID that got 40,000 views in one day? Nobody. So this is big. And then now you got uh, Harlem Legend feeling good about himself because everybody's quoting him, right? He's got these weird quotes, right? He's got this one like, uh, I pop a flocka, I bin him, or I bin me. I pop, <laughs> I pop a flocka, I bin me. Right? And I'm listening to it. When I, when I watched it, I was like, this is stupid as fuck. This is stupid ass fucking bar. He fucking sucks. But when they did a bar breakdown of his battle, he actually was up there spitting. Somebody actually edited the battle, so they took out all the chokes. If you take out all the chokes, he's actually beating Reaper Rell. And shout out Reaper Rell for doing his thing. Uh, but then it turns out Reaper Rell is recycling bars and Reaper Rell stole bars. Pop, 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 pop. What? Come on. Online battle. He must have figured nobody was going to see that shit. He's like, ain't nobody finna see this shit. Who's watching Harlem Legend TV? Fucking uh, battle. He's not. He's he's not anticipating. So now it's crazy. Now it's really crazy. Now did Harlem Legend TV beat Reaper Row? I don't know. <laughs> but everybody's talking about that shit. It's fucking hilarious. If you haven't seen it, check out. Reaper Rail versus Harlem Legend TV. It's hilarious. It's the best rookie battle I've ever seen because I'm dying laughing the whole fucking time. I'm laughing my ass off because he must have started over like three, four, five times fumbling over his bars. But he actually has some really good bars. He had horrible delivery. He's sitting down with his fucking earplugs in from 2005 and he's just thinking it up but when they did the edit and and took out all the chokes he actually did really well so shout out Harlem Legend TV shout out Reaper Rail shout out Easy to Block Cabin shout out Hitman Holla um and shout out the Battle Rap community because it's just a lot going on um back to Kid Slate you got Verb now talking about he wants to fight Kid Slade because I'm watching Verb's live because Verb pretty much goes live every morning. I'm watching Verb's live and in the chat there's Kid Slade and he's like, keep up that same energy. Keep up that same energy. So all day, Verb has just been talking mess about Kid Slade. Now he's about to whoop Kid Slade and all this and, you know, it's going to be different over here and blah, 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 blah. Um, everybody's coming for Kid Slade and Kid Slade I think after all this, his stock has risen, which is crazy to think. Because the way this all started off, this all started off as, oh, Kid Slay's a snitch, we will hang with snitches, snitches get snitches, snitches. <laughs> snitches get snitches, all this, and a lot of people are rocking with Kid Slay now. So, I don't know. I mean... If they have another Kid Slade battle, of course I'm going to watch it. You're going to watch it too. Everybody's going to watch it. Because everybody's going to want to hear what he's got to say. Everybody's going to want to hear somebody get on his head. I hope he battles T-Top. If he's going to battle anybody that's worth a damn, I want to see Kid Slade versus T-Top. Because T-Top is the number one angler. I don't care what you say. T-Top is the number one angler. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, share, thumbs down. I don't give a damn. It's easy to be nasty. Yeet.